recording and okay and now here we are hello patreon friends welcome to last call of cthulhu uh and now with the bar you know that name is even more fitting that's uh <laughs> that's that's wonderful so this episode like this was a little different because we we essentially did some world building and i and i wanted to involve you guys in it and what did you think of that whole process i liked it a lot just it didn't be it, it felt a lot like being in a writer's room just throwing ideas around and seeing what was what was funniest to be honest i had a lot of fun with that yeah i, I wasn't thinking about it, but uh, quickly I could start thinking about all the different things. So that was cool. In all fairness, we should have given it to the chat. I think. <laughs> yeah. No, would no. If we, got, if we yes. gave it to the chat, that boat would have been named Boney McBoatface and you know it. I mean, you know, the funny thing, if you like, um, in if you go back and look at like the names of stuff back then, it was much less referential than yeah. you know we are kind of now. And so like, you know, they wanted, they wanted to call the bar ship faced, which is awesome, but like, that just wouldn't have, you know, and not that anachronism is a problem. Um, so that that whole world, you know, part of that world building was just, you know, we're now going to kind of probably base a lot of the campaign in Reno and doing things around Reno. And so trying to give it some touchstones that kind of always sit around. And so, you know, establishing some characters and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know, Renee might have to come back. I liked her. She was yeah. John Corbett. Are you serious? <laughs> John Corbett. I might have just read The Haunting. The I, I was going to say, because I was like, that was niggling at me. So I went and looked it up and went, oh, of course it's The Haunting. Yeah. I'm, I'm more interested in, in Iggy Covington coming back. <laughs> oh, please. Honest. Please. I, I want him to be a regular at the bar. He just sits there, <laughs> face doesn't move. <laughs> He's the drink, the drink goes in like in his neck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's, there you go. That's wonderful. You but go. but also, you know, knowing that we were going to be based out of out of Reno and that we're doing a lot more there, I was going out of my way to try and not piss off the sheriff too much because I'm, I'm trying try and federal marshals have a little bit more pull, but also, yeah, you don't you, you you don't shit where you sleep. But it was yeah. also Dangle. Yeah, so, I think he's I mean, he's. he's He's pretty much a pushover, I think. Oh yeah, no, I, I, if I needed to, I could probably strong arm pretty effectively. But that is a big blunt hammer, and I try to save those for when they're really needed. Yeah. <laughs> the the funny thing, I'll give the Patreons a little behind the scenes thing here is like, uh, you know, uh, the 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 cast was like, can we just do a normal episode? I was gonna say, like, <laughs> was this our normal? <laughs> This is apparently normal where we run into the fucking grays. This close. Well, so originally my idea was to do just the posse thing, but then you got there and I'm like, this no, is that's kinda, not fun. This is kind of boring. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, the shooting at each other part of it would have been the least interesting part of the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. And I had no idea what I was going to do until Nick did that push roll. And then I was like, well, all right, let's make it weird. You know, and, <laughs> um, and then... I just sort of went where I went, but, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I want to figure out what, you know, figure out ways to do more mundane things, but have it be interesting. And so I think what that's going to probably end up looking like is more investigation stuff. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, I, I don't, I don't think, a, 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 a let's write out and shoot people is necessarily, uh, setting anybody up to succeed. Right. Yeah. It's looking Action. for clues and yeah, putting for the mystery together. Yeah, in yeah. all the wrong places. Yeah. Why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> having 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 Abe back for that will be fun because he has a, a habit of happening into the right things. It, it's true. It's true. Uh, so when uh, we, you know, we, this was a little bit more of a free form episode. And so what I, uh, I really appreciated you guys sort of playing along and um, I, I tried that sort of, you know, let's give everybody a scene at the bar at the bar that sets stuff up for the future. Um, and I, uh, 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 but the you know, if you're going to do that, just here's a tip for you GMs down the line. Maybe think about it beforehand. Uh, that's <laughs> no. I, on, honestly, what I what I was expecting and and what I was kind of listening for was us meeting our backup characters. Oh, that would have been a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm I sorry I didn't say something sooner because that was literally what I thought you were you were going I for. Like I should have had you all like you did that for me. He's well, alluding to where my off, backup character is at. <laughs> uh, first off, you absolutely did just meet my backup character. <laughs> God, yes, Renee has to be your backup character now. Oh, when when she comes back from San Francisco and has faced down an actual werewolf. I mean, there you go. You know there what? You I am so here for that. But yeah, I was totally expecting a a, a fourteen year old lanky kid to introduce himself oh, to, to Susanna. That I think we might have to make that happen because that's a great way to introduce the backup characters. Yeah, yeah. Have, have have them come and work at the bar and yeah. show off their their skills, and we'd be like, hey. You, this this is something that's not quite in our bailiwick, but if you want to go and seem have a look, trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, after they've worked for us for a little while. Yeah, I like I, the jug band doing the audition. Then the werewolves attack, and it's like <laughs> you handled yourself really well during that werewolf attack. <laughs> Would you like to, to stay here permanently? Oh that's my God, no, not with these weirdos. <laughs> that's the audition, you see, you know, something horrible has to happen during the audition. It was, uh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> nice. and I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nick, that I had to, I had to show these off before, before they were ready. It's just coming up with a name. Why are you sorry to Nick? You come up no, with a name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Be Nick because, likes because, those... you, because you really wanted to wait to show them off and give them away until next week. You know, if you learn one thing about Nick, it's that he really stays to a schedule. Yeah. And he just gets very frustrated. If... We say next week. We should yeah. adhere to next week. And if we say at six, we should just flip the switch. It doesn't matter if anyone's ready for the stream. Just flip. Ready off. is just Whatever. so overrated. That's true. Oh, geez. Nick always advocates for just starting right at six, where we're usually talking about you know something asinine that has nothing to do with. If it was me, my finger would be on the button and be like, click. I wouldn't say anything. I just <laughs> wait until someone would be like, oh, is it six? Oh God, are we live? And I'm. <laughs> on on Frost Maiden. Oh. With yeah. that gremlin face too. Uh. Right at noon, we were discussing uh, if 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 this was a Ducktales game, what would our characters do? <laughs> Duck so. Well, and and we did have some some really you know intense things in the beginning of this show. Yeah, so. yeah, we had that uh, that scene. Um, uh, I shouldn't have done the Jenkins coda. That took away from it. I think. No, I, I think it was. I think it was fine. It 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 yeah. It, we got our thing in. We got in what we needed I, to do. I, you know, I if I have a weakness, it is I always go for the joke. <laughs> well, uh, if something super serious, it's not bad to have some levity follow it. What I mean, it was immediately followed by by Elias going, "I'm sorry, I shot you." Right. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're not good at serious for very long. It's okay. Yeah. No, that was uh, the so the I thought one interesting takeaway as I was listening to that conversation was, um, you know. Susanna's threat was sort of unclear, you know, like if Jenkins shows up again, is she leaving? If, you know, if, if Susanna decides that Jenkins appearance was warranted, she's not leaving, you know, it was I think it's, the, it's first resort. It, it can't right. be first resort. The, right. the, 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 the biggest thing that Susanna is the, is the most upset about is, is that Jonesy grabs for, for Jenkins whenever anything goes kind of wrong. So and 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 this and it's it's like grabbing for a nuclear bomb when a, when a pistol will do just fine. In Jonesy's defense, Jenkins has shown up when she hasn't asked. You know that. Oh, is, that's true. Yeah. And now you know now he might do that just to try and piss Suzanne off. He 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 very well might. But if 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 uh, if, if uh, Susanna looks Jonesy in the face and Jonesy looks as surprised as she is, then then it'll be like, oh, you're just a dick. Cool. But I, I thought, you know, that was a very like human moment of I'm angry and I'm trying to make an ultimatum, but my ultimatum is so vague that it's like, where is it going? Yeah. I, uh, um, and that's and, good. Well, it's really uh, special because she doesn't want to make the ultimatum. She genuinely likes everyone that, that she's with. She doesn't want to leave, but she also doesn't want to get shot in the back again yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and 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 you know jonesy is dealing with the the fact that that things did not go well and she was willing to do the ultimate sacrifice but she was told it was the you know the, the that you know, you're being a, a coward and that was <gasps> yeah yeah, yeah. You, you you run away from the consequences of what you did 
I yeah, didn't, as as and Jonesy. I wasn't, I was, uh, you know, Jonesy was like, this is, you know, I was atoning for my thing, you know, so, so that was like, we have sure. different ways of seeing it. Right. That's yeah. the perspective thing. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was neither, fascinating. Neither yeah. one of you sort of understands the world in the same way. You know, right. Sort of yeah. Thing. Well, okay. and, and it's partially because, you know, Jonesy is older than, than Susanna. She grew up in a different country. She speaks a different language and you, you think in the language of your birth and, she has a, a very different way of looking at things than Susanna does. Well, I think in yeah. Pig Latin. Yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, it's weird, really weird to dream in Pig Latin. Well, uh, Patreons, uh, this is once again, a thank you from us to you for all that you do for Quests and Chaos. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoy um, a little bit of five people who've already exhausted themselves for three hours, pretending like we can talk cogently about what just happened. Uh, and uh, tune in next week when uh, something happens. I don't know what. We'll, we'll figure it out. There's a whiskey shortage. There's. <laughs> no! No! You have to break into the black water whiskey. There's no! no <laughs> oh, man. All right, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.